All right, this video is really getting me frustrated here. <laughs> I've recorded it maybe six times already and I'm not happy with it. So I'm gonna shorten it way up. I'm not gonna show you all the problems and the solutions and everything. What I'm gonna do is try to briefly explain to you um, the scenario and then I will point you to a blog post with the instructions on the changes you need to make. So the scenario, <sighs> let's say you manage an Active Directory domain like myself, we'll just take myself for example. Um, I do not log into any of the computers when I'm like this, this it, let's pretend this is my work laptop. Um, I don't log into it with my domain admin account. I do, have an, I do have a domain admin account, but that's just used for elevation purposes. I log in as a non-domain admin. A few years ago when we switched over to Windows 7, we implemented UAC. So UAC is enabled, and it, it got pretty frustrating trying to run as a non-domain admin. So I researched a lot, and I tested a lot. And I wrote up a quick article, or not an article, but instructions on how to run as a non-domain admin for work. And then all the techs and sysadmins, everybody who um, also does domain admin type work, use it. They configure it once, and they're done. They never think about it again. And it's worked for a few years now just fine. So if you find yourself wanting to run as a non-domain admin account, which you should, you'll wanna follow these steps to make your life a lot easier when you're in the command prompt or you're in PowerShell and you're trying to launch Windows Explorer windows um, from this, from PowerShell, and then you wanna drag and drop files all over. Again, I'm not going to show you how to set it here because the, to me it's going to be a lot easier just looking at it on the blog post and then follow along or print it out or something and try it out. Um, I guarantee you it's going to relieve a lot of frustration if you're trying to run as a non-domain admin. So the blog post is here. Check it out. Share it. Please let me know if it works. Let me know if you know of a different way. Um, again, what it'll do is help you do stuff like this. Invoke item, which is II, which I use every day, space, and then let's just bring up the directory right here. Okay, and then I wanna bring up another one. Let's say I go IIC. Now I got two Windows Explorer windows running as the domain admin account. I can drag and drop and do anything here in any directory because I got the domain admin credentials. Before doing these settings, you'd have a hard time trying to get this to work. But guarantee you it's gonna help you out a lot. So, all right, good luck.